Auckland's mayor revealed more than 200 lifts and escalators were broken in the flooded city and some elderly residents had been trapped in high-rises. And while the floodwaters may have now receded, the aftermath of the deluge is raising major health concerns. Lauren Hendrickson has the story. For so many families in Auckland, this is the reality. Belongings now in a tip, carpet ripped up and written off. The muds also went uh, inside the, uh, the living room and the kitchen as well. This couple have stripped an entire floor of their home in a desperate bid to save it, forced to now live upstairs in the only dry part of the house. We've experienced uh, so many flies inside, so it's getting worse uh, every day. We worried about our health, especially the smell. While you can see the damage in these homes, what's difficult to describe is the smell. It's intense, it hits you as soon as you walk in the door, and it lingers. It's like the rubbish bin, like rotting for how many weeks outside. That's the smell. Experts say black mould, often caused by floods, is a major concern and the risk to people's health should be taken seriously. Mould can act as an irritant for things like your eyes, for your lungs. You can actually start to get asthma even if you've never had it before. Across the road, Rashida Mangere's family's car was being towed after flood water swept through it. But the main concern, her 83-year-old mother in the house she used to live in. Hard inside, you know, because all her things is gone, her son, all the car, and, you know, it's so flooded out. Even in the garage, everything gone. They don't have insurance, and staying here isn't an option. Oh, it's dead. You can't go inside the house, it's so watery, you know, it's flooding. Her mother struggled to find words. <laughs> but she didn't need to speak I'm so sorry. for us to understand the pain she's going through. Organisations like the Fono are doing their best to offer support. Pick up a food parcel for the family. But some families, particularly with language barriers, <laughs> still aren't aware there's help out there. At the moment, uh, you can't live here. Have you heard about the evacuation centres? No. For others, their homes are OK, but access to them has been cut off. The lifts in Sandra Evans' apartment have been broken since Friday. She's disabled and lives on the 16th floor. It's incredibly dangerous for me. I cannot believe that there hasn't been more immediate action. She happens to live on the same floor as the Mayor of Auckland, Wayne Brown, who addressed the issue on the AM show this morning. One of my neighbours um, who's 83 years old and there's people who are older than her in this building and they are climbing the stairs. We're not aware of any requests to us for, for specific assistance in those situations. Auckland Emergency Management says lift companies have assured them they're working to fix the issue. Lauren Hendrickson, News